Electric cars can be sexy, but car charging stations, mm, not so much. Until now. It's exciting to be part of a, a movement away from petroleum into electricity. It's going to take a group effort, especially at the very beginning, to get the, get the industry going and help everyday people, normal people, understand that, hey, this is an option for me, not just some outlier. There's a slew of cars coming out of the next two years that are all going to be quite different. What's different is that the actual plug that plugs into your car is now finally standardized. Whereas in the past, there were at least three different plugs. So you can kind of imagine going to a gas station. If you drive a Honda, you have to find the nozzle that fits the Honda. If you have a Ford, the nozzle that fits the Ford. Well, that's how it was in the 90s. That's one of the big wins of, of this, this round of electric vehicles is there's a standard plug. The automotive industry and the utility industry spend a lot of time making sure it's safe and reliable and easy to use. So now the charging process is less about vehicle technology and more about human behavior. What we don't know, for example, is are people going to they top off every night, meaning when they come home to their garage, will they plug in their car and have it charge overnight and that'll be fine and do that every day? Or is it more, you can kind of think of it, some people today drive until the gas gauge gets down to a quarter tank or even less. Is that how people are going to behave with, with charging? We don't know. And the, and the, DO, the Department of Energy and a lot of utilities and car companies are studying this very question. And it's also going to depend where you live. Do you live in the city without a parking space or in the suburbs with plenty of garage space for charging? Do you commute a short distance or work miles from home? Now some cars will have bigger range, some will have shorter range. You might need some kind of uh, at-work charging or public charging. The goal in order to make these work is to, is to set up programs that not only support early adopters but also scale to the mass market. If customers can charge off-peak where it's inexpensive for them and also good for the grid and good for the environment, that's a huge win. It's so exciting to, to get up every morning and know that the, you know, our team's efforts is a small part of a larger effort to help make electric cars a success.